Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to successfully delete the dollar sign windows.ws folder. So basically this folder might be created during the upgrade process of Windows 10. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process of how to actually remove it. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best results should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have a few commands in the description of the video. I want you guys to copy each one one at a time. Please note that the commands are assuming that Windows is installed on the C drive. So there will often be a C followed by a colon and then backslash. You will swap out that C with a different drive letter in the event that Windows is installed on a different drive. So I just want to put that notice out there right away. And if worst case scenario you try running it and it doesn't work, you'll know why. It just will tell you that it wasn't a valid command. It won't hurt, but it won't work. So just want to put that out there. So we are going to, like I said, I'm going to have commands in the description of the video. There's going to be three of them. And they are, again, assuming that our Windows installation is on our C drive. So you're going to copy each one one at a time. Uh, and then once you copy the first one, go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. You can try and type it in what you see on my screen here, but you could use it as a reference too. But I would recommend copying it and then just pasting it in as you see here. Then you can hit enter. It says the system cannot find the file specified. Like I said, it could be an incorrect drive letter. However, I don't actually have any upgrade files on here, so that's why more than likely I'm getting that message. But in your case, it should be able to execute successfully. And we're going to move on to the second two commands here. So there's going to be two more. And like I said, there's going to be one more after that. And you're just going to paste them in one after another. It's going to hit enter. And like I said, even though it says it cannot find it in our case, it's because there is no file there. But in your case, if you have this issue with this folder and you just want to get rid of it, then this tutorial should be able to resolve it with these three commands. The only individual thing you might have to change, like I said, is the drive letter here. So you can see the C colon there. You can see it right here. I mean, it'll take you literally like two or three seconds to actually find it if you're looking through. So if you want to paste it in like a notepad file or somewhere on your computer and then just change it out and then paste it in the command prompt, you can do that. That's probably what I would do, honestly. But pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.